What's good guys? Welcome back to Ron's Rides. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video where it is a windy day here at Maserati Alfro Mail Daytona Beach. Shout out to them because we have our first Alfro Mail Stelvio TI Sport on the channel. I had to go back and look through my log of videos to realize we didn't have a sport model of the Stelvio on the channel. I didn't, I thought we had everything. We've already done the Sprint, we've already done the Lusso, etc. But yeah, now we have the TI Sport here and this has something that we haven't seen for 2021 on it that I wanna show off to you guys. So we're just gonna get right to it. So first off, wow, look at this metallic paint on this Stromboli gray paint job, a $600 paint job that looks phenomenal with the Nero Edizioni package, which is the black package on this. And you're gonna love the taillights on these as well if you didn't already see in the thumbnail. Now with that said, let's just start off with what you get for 2021 because Alfa Romeo grouped their packages a little bit different for this year. They wanted to do more for less. So for the TI models, which this is a TI Sport, you're automatically going to get the dual pane panoramic roof. All right, so any TI models will get that, which means this model has it. You also get the 3D navigation radio. All right, so the HD radio will be included. And since this is a TI Sport, you're going to get the limited slip diff and you're gonna get the dark exhaust tips. Now, and just because this has a black package on it doesn't mean you get the dark exhaust tips. It has to be a TI Sport, which this one is, so you'll have the dark exhaust tips for this model. Now the options that you can get on the 2021 TI models are included as the Active Assist 2 package, which is the Active Blind Spot and Level 2 Autonomous Driving. You also can add the premium package that gives you the Harman Kardon radio and the reheated seats with an alarm. And you can add the performance package, which gives you paddle, paddle shifters and a limited slip diff. Now let's kind of move around to the back where you'll see the clear LED tail lamps. Now, this is not necessarily new to Alfa Romeo, especially over in Europe. What this is, is it's new to this model for 2021. In 2020, you could get the clear tail lights, but you can only get them if you had the TI Sport Carbon. So we've seen these before on the TI Sport Carbons that I've showed you for 2020 last year. Now you get it on the TI Sport models for 2021. So it doesn't have to be the carbon to have these clear taillights. So that's the big difference here. As you can see the clear taillights and they are darkened taillights because they have the black package on it. So it's even more special, all right? So with that said, that was just a quick, quick look at that. We'll um, you know, take a more in-depth glance once we get to that because we want to go over the spec completely. So let's start from the front. The front is going to give you your bi -Xenon headlamps, all right? Normal, big LED going all the way across. You do have your dark Scudetto grill because of the fact that you have the black package. So the Nido Edizione package will give you in that dark meat on Scudetto grill flavor. You also have that metallic strong boldly gray paint. As you can see, showing off the lines and the beautiful color of gray. You also have for the black package, the dark meat on mirror cap uh, for the uh, side view mirrors, and you have the black moldings for the window surround. Also for that black package, your 20 inch sport wheels done in gloss black, your monochrome insignia right there in the center cap, and you have your red caliper with white script. All right, so it looks very good. You have Brembo brakes up front. You have the body color match kit where the wheel wells and side skirts are done in the same Stromboli gray. Going up top, you do see that panoramic roof. We said it came standard because it is a TI. And you also have the dark meat on finish for the roof rails, all right? So this whole flavor, just looking at that stuff that we just named off, just looks so good together. Very perfect spec for me. Man, I love this. It's very stealthy, very just sly, just, man, this, oh, I love this. It's smooth. All right, so then we get to the back. We already talked about those very special tail lamps, all right, that is new for 2021 on this specific model for the TI Sport. You don't have to have the TI Sport carbon anymore. You also, with the black package, have the Stelvio badge done in the dark meat on finish and the Q4 badge, which means this is all wheel drive with the gloss black and the red four, all right? Now, we're not done yet because that black package will give you the rear diffuser done in the dark meat on finish as well. You also get the dark exhaust tips, all right? Just because it's a black package, again, doesn't mean that it gets it. Has to be a TI Sport and have the black package. So with that combo together, you have the dark exhaust tips and you have the dark meat on finish for the rear diffuser. Again, putting it all together, how it looks, is just a great looking spec all the way around. 
Super stealthy. I love this thing. Man, this is stealth on wheels. So let's take a second and get technical really quick here. All right, so fuel first. Your fuel economy is going to be premium fuel only, all right, with a combined city and highway of 24 miles per gallon. All right, that's 22 city and 28 highway. And that fuel is going to go to this inline four cylinder, two liter engine that pumps out 280 horsepower, 306 foot pounds of torque. It gives you a zero to 60 in about 5.8 seconds using the eight-speed ZF transmission. Now, with that said, let's go to the rear because the cargo space here is gonna be 56 cubic feet of space. If you guys haven't already, make sure you check out my vehicle where I program the lift gate and I show you the different ways you can open it and close it and program the height using the key fob and in, inside of the vehicle. So 56 cubic feet of space. You have your privacy shade right up front here. All three seats do fold down. You have your privacy shade right above us as well. And you have a couple of things like the front plate bracket, just in case you guys live in a country or state that needs a front license plate. Also, something new I haven't seen before is a toolkit bag with the Alpro Mail script on it. Looks really cool. That's a nice little touch. Then underneath, you also have your tire inflate kit there. You have your tow hook there and you have a screwdriver there and underneath your battery right there in the middle. Now you also have your fuse box there as well on the side and then everything else is just pretty, I guess, set up very nicely, very practical and what you're used to from Alfa Romeo. Now inside of this Alfa Romeo stuff, your TI Sport is not a bad place to be, especially with all this wind. So let's hop right in and we'll take a look at what this has to offer. Now, before I got in, I probably should have checked out that big aluminum side still. It still has the pro uh, protective wrap over it, all right, so that's why it's, you know, kind of blue there. Um, underneath, you also see those nice uh, aluminum sport pedals as well, all right, your little cubby to get inside, just in case you guys want to stow your license and registration in there. Um, you could also do your parking sensors and your auto stop stop button there, and your lighting with your odometer lighting control as well for your gauges, all right, big HVAC vent there that looks like a turbine, and then on the door paneling here, you'll see that you have the aluminum trim because this is the sport package. So the sport model will get that big aluminum trim going all the way across the door. Now you'll notice right off the bat that it does not have the extended leather package. So it still has that kind of plasticky, soft plastic feel right up top here. There is an aluminum door handle hiding under this protective covering. And this is just because the windows were tenant. So not supposed to put the you know windows down after they were tenant for a couple of days. Soft material here with some contrasted stitching as well on the door and no Harman Kardon sound system. So you do not see that upgrade here with the silver um, silver uh, speaker there. Now close this up. It's a very beautiful place to be. Nice solid thud when you close the door. And it's super quiet if you need it to be. As you can see, it was night and day difference with that wind blowing. And then I closed the door and it just, you hear nothing. So big sports steering wheel, flat bottom, leather surround, perforated leather. All right, you have the big Alfa Romeo insignia in the center start stop button here. You have all your driver assistance controls here, which lets you know that this has a driver assistance package on it because every single button is filled. No blank buttons means it has that level two autonomous driving package on it, which is why Alfa Romeo for 2020 moved to electric steering. So this is a second year with that, but you have adaptive cruise control, your highway assist, your normal cruise control and your hill descent as well. If you were to look behind that paddle shifter there, you will see that button is for your lane keep assist. All right, on this side here on the right, you will see your hands-free controls and your radio controls. And then obviously those big column mounted paddle shifters that you cannot get by. Such a satisfying click, just clicking those. Now, with that said, let's go around to the seats because these are the sport seats. Perforated leather for the sport seats. These are heated seats, but they are not cooled seats. So keep that in mind. They are beautiful seats. They look very nice with the Alfa Romeo insignia and the headrest. But again, these are not ventilated seats and they are very form fitting. So make sure you always check these out to make sure that they are right for you. You actually have extra thigh support here. You want to pull that there get that thigh support in there and then you can heat these as I said and you can heat the steering wheel by looking at the HVAC controls there at the bottom you'll see the driver's seat right here for heat and you'll see the steering wheel for heat as well passenger seat for heat right there all right so Alfa Romeo definitely needs to get the ventilated seat going in here because it would make a heck of a difference here in Florida now with that said big gauges right here TFT screen was updated and it looks very nice as far as the graphics goes. Nice aluminum surround on the gauges, white uh, lights for the faces, 
everything looks phenomenal there. 8.8 .8 inch touchscreen. All right, this is new for 2020 last year. They updated the graphical user interface and it looks great. Doesn't it function as well as you want it to, but when it does, it really just shines. It's such a night and day difference from the 2019 models. And you know, what can solve that, you know, touch, you know, lag and everything on the screen is using the dial right here in the center where you'll see the big piece of aluminum trim. Now this rotary dial will help you flawlessly go through this 8.8 .8 inch touch screen, which gives you Apple CarPlay and Android Auto standard. Now you have the home button and the settings buttons there to just get you through everything quickly. You have your drive mode buttons here. So dynamic, you have your natural and advanced efficiency. Remember dynamic is your most aggressive driving mode where natural is your everyday driving and advanced efficiency is for more of highway cruise control, your more fuel economy mode. And you have your radio buttons here where you can turn up and down the radio, change the tracks by moving left to right and pressing this down to pause or holding it down to turn off the radio. You have your Italian flag surrounding that leather wrap uh, shift knob there. And for that gear select, it is a two track system with this eight speed ZF transmission. All right, parking brake there. And you have your key holder here. And up here where you have your cup holders, you do have a nice big door to hide that in case you're not using them with the 12 volt right under, um, not right under, right above and the USB 2.0. That's not our only charging port though, all right? We'll get to that in just a second. We should probably go to reverse. You can see that the camera is decent. It's not the best, but it's there. It's okay. Um, you can see people walking behind me actually uh, right now looking at cars. Um, so you have your 360 there, but it's not like a 360, you know, viewable. It's really um, sensors and everything inside of that that's showing you different things around it. But this is a good way to test it out as you can see people walking there. So you can kind of see how well it works. If and there you go, somebody's pretty close to it. So that actually is a good real time look at how the rear view, uh, or sorry, the rear view, the rear camera works for the parking sensors and all. So there you are. That that couldn't have been perfect, more perfect timing. Um, so with that said, you have your big aluminum trim going all the way across over your glove box with the turbine vents there as well. All right, plenty of space, same things on the sides here. Um, everything that you guys are used to for these cars, um, it's pretty simple, pretty standard. Black headliner, you do have that panoramic roof. So if you were to look up, um, we have a nice shade over it, but that's a good way to show how well it really blocks the sun because you see the sun's right on it. But if I wanted to take the sun off of it, there we go, there we go. That's what I want, that natural sunlight. Now this can go far back, guys. That's not the furthest it will go. It will go all the way back there. Check it out. That is all the way back and it looks so good when you let the natural sunlight in this interior. Now don't forget about your controls up top, home link there. All right, you have your flood lights, you have your sunroof, you have your dome lights, everything here up top as well just to help you out through your day. What I always forget to mention is this does have three programmable seat memory controls, all right? It's always very helpful just in case you have a mother that drives this, a father that drives this, a son or daughter. You know, if there's a third party in here that's part of the family that will drive this vehicle, it's good to have the memory set up for three different people. So that really works. That's something that I always forget to mention for this car. Now, if you look under the armrest here, you'll see that is where your wireless phone charger port is. You'll see your USB 2.0, your aux cable and USB-C plugins are there. And then you'll see your RF transmitter for your key fob, just in case your key fob's running out of battery and you need to connect to the vehicle to get in, start it, everything like that. Um, that is a good way to use that as well. Now, in order to move the steering wheel, you definitely have to pull this trigger down and that will allow you to move it up and down, forward and backwards, depending on where you need it and then you can lock it back in. Um, definitely want Alpha to get on that electric steering wheel adjustable because it's just that much easier. And when you hop in the back, you have plenty of room. I was sitting very comfortably up front and as you can see, I have tons of room in the back and that helps with the curvature of the back seat here. All right, so you can see that it goes in, allows for better knee room. Um, I do have my net here for whatever I need to put in there, my turbine vents right here as well and my plugins for my USB 2.0s for the back of the vehicle for your phone. And then you do have a little storage space, barely enough to fit a phone. As you can see, this is where it stops. So I'm not exactly sure what you would put right there, but it's there. You also have your bucket seats here as well, perforated leather again, 
no heated seat package on this specifically for the rear so there's no rear heated seats here if there was you would see it on the side of the door for the button there you do have though if i were to pull this down your cup holders right here for your center feed through all right and that's about it for the back i mean again not too much nothing too crazy um because there's no extended leather package or no heated seats um, or anything fancy that's pretty much all you get in the rear so you guys ready to see the price of all of this well it does come at a price unfortunately we can't have all of this great stuff for cheap so starting price is forty seven thousand one hundred dollars for this 2021 alpha Romeo ti sport all-wheel drive after the buttload of options there's a lot you're looking at a total price of $55,940, and that is with a $1,295 destination charge. You also get your four years basic warranty, four years, 50,000 miles, and with roadside assistance, but certain restrictions may apply. So let's get right down to it. The optional equipment starts all the way over here, and you get that Stromboli gray metallic exterior paint for $600. Now the biggest package on here is the TI Sport all-wheel drive package for good reason. There's a lot of stuff. $3,200 for this package, but you get the sport leather seats, the sport tuned front dampers, black headliner, power adjustable seat bolsters, perforated leather shift knob. Over here, limited slip differential, eight-way power adjustable driver's seat, eight-way power adjustable front passenger seat, gloss black window surround moldings, gloss black roof rails, dual dark exhaust tips, sport leather wrap steering wheel. You have your all-season tires, bright aluminum pedals, aluminum steering wheel, collar mounted powder shifters, aluminum interior trim, color brake calipers that is it for your ti sport all-wheel drive package and then we look at the active assist 2 package which is available on that ti sport all right so again this is very very specific to this package which is why they put it in parentheses 1695 dollars for that package so what do you get well get a little closer shall we all right the active assist 2 is infrared windshield automatic dimming exterior mirrors lane keep assist automatic high beam headlamp control adaptive cruise control with stop Intelligent speed assist, highway assist system, traffic sound recognition, traffic jam recognition, or sorry, just traffic jam assist, and you have your uh, driver attention alert with the active blind spot assist. Ooh, I'm getting tongue tied, guys. And then your Neo Edizione package for the TI Sport. All right, so it's a little bit different. So $1,500 there, dark LED tail lamps, dark meat on exterior mirror caps, your dark meat on black Scudetto grill, your dark meat on black badging, and your monochrome center caps. Then you have your wireless charging pad for $250. You have your hands-free power lift gate, $300, and those 20-inch rims with the gloss red calipers and Series XM. So that's a lot of stuff that comes with this, which is why that price jumps from $47 to $55. All right, so then we talk about what comes standard. And, I mean, it's a good amount of stuff, but, I mean, obviously the additional options definitely trump everything that comes standard because it's a lot of stuff. But with that said... We'll go over that very quickly. You guys can pause it if you need to. That is your standard equipment for this 2021 Alfro Male Stelvio TI Sport all-wheel drive. Like Booker T says, we're going to do the spin rooney and we're going to spin around this 2021 Stelvio TI Sport so you can see it fully illuminated with this LED tails, the HID fronts. I mean, the bi -Xenons look very good. The LEDs there and the amber turn signals We'll go, actually we'll go on this side so you can see it a little bit better. That amber turn signal on the side mirror. And then the full LED tail lamps that are done clear. Not new to the Alfa Romeo Stelvio, but new to the 2021 TI Sport. All right, with that said, these look really good. Especially with that Q4 badge done in black and red. Yeah, loving those. Looks really good on this gray. Wow. All right. That's it, guys. What are you thinking about this spec? What do you guys love about this TI Sport all-wheel drive? So let me know, guys. What do you think about this Stromboli Gray Alfa Romeo Stelvio TI Sport? It's definitely loaded up. It definitely looks good. And it definitely is going to be a performer. So with that said, would you pay that $55,000 plus price tag for this specific vehicle. Let me know down in the comments below. And if you guys did enjoy this video today, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Giving it a thumbs up will help get it up in the rankings. More people can see it and we'll have a bigger discussion on the new clear taillights and the new 2021 Alfa Male Stelvio TI Sport. Now with that said, if you guys wanna help further support the channel, always check the links down below. We have a one-time link donation for my PayPal, my Cash App, and my Venmo, just in case you guys wanna donate a dollar or two to the channel. You can also check out the Patreon. You wanna donate there, be a monthly subscriber, or check out the Ron's Rise merch Ron's Rise merch. 
get the t-shirts hoodies stickers everything ron's rise check that out as well now make sure you guys also check out my tiktok facebook snapchat instagram it's everything i'm posting ferrari maserati and alfa romeo content that doesn't always make it here to the channel and make sure you guys subscribe but click the notification bell so you don't miss one ron's rise video and with that said you guys be blessed have a great day we'll talk to you guys in the next ron's rise news video peace